in a company is three to four. And there are a total of 84 people in the company. How many men and how many women are in the company? So when a problem says that there's a ratio of three to four, that doesn't mean three of one and four of the other. It really means that there's three times some number to four times some number of the other. So it's like a three X to a four X where X is an unknown. So if 3x is the number of men and 4x is the number of women, then the total number of people must be 3x plus 4x. And according to the problem, we know that there's a total of 84. So that information together tells us that 3x plus 4x is 7x to be a total of 84. And dividing both sides by 7 would then yield that x is equal to 12. So that means x is equal to 12. Now that's not the final answer to the question either. That's just the value of x. So now remember that there were 3x many men and 4x many women. So we have 3 times x which is 12 many men. 4 times x which is 12 many women. So 36 and 48. So the final answer to this question is going to be there are 36 men and there are 48 women. Okay, well, why don't you try to take a shot at a problem on your own, pause the video, and see if you can do this problem. Assuming you've paused it and tried it out, let's read it together and do the problem. The ratio of yes to no votes on a certain measure is 2 to 7. So yes to no is given as 2 to 7. Remember that doesn't mean the number 2 or the number 7, but it means 2x and 7x. There were a total of 140 yes votes. So yes, there are a total of 2x plus 7x. There's going to be a total of 9x many votes altogether, but this specific part of the problem says that there's 140 yes votes. So remember the yes votes were represented by 2x. So we're going to say 2x equals the 140 yes votes. Divide both sides by 2 so that way we get x equals 70. And then we can take that answer of x equals 70 and back substitute into the ratio to yield 2 times 70 to 7 times 70, which would be 140 and 490. So there were 140 yes votes, 140 yeses. There were thus 490 no's, which is the answer to this question, how many were no. And then how many altogether? Looks like that would be a total of 630 together. And those are the answers to this problem.